In Act 2, Romeo and Juliet decided that they were in love. They decided to go get married in secret, and Friar Lawrence decided to help because he thinks that it will help end the fighting between the Montagues and the Capulet. Tybalt sent Romeo a letter saying that he wants to fight him. Romeo kind of ignored it. Oh man, here come the Capulets. I don't care. Hello gentlemen, I'd like a word with you. Just one word. You hang out with Romeo, right? Hang out? What are we, a band? My sword will make you dance. Maybe we should go somewhere private to work this out? I don't want to fight you. Romeo, you are a villain. I'm no villain. What? In fact, you'll find we have reason to get along. You're weird. Just fight me. You don't understand. I can't and I won't fight you. What? If you won't fight him, Romeo, I will. No. Hurry up, Tibble, or I'll hit you with my sword. Oh, fine. Benvolio, we have to stop them. around Mercutio you're such a joker I can't be that bad well when you look for me tomorrow I'll be gone how did you get in between us Romeo he got me under your arm I thought it was the right thing to do curse your families you've turned me into worm food I die Mercutio was dead my best friend is dead now you can go keep him company Tibble Out of here, Romeo. Prince will give you the death penalty. I have bad luck. <gasps> what happened here? Okay, I'll tell you. Wow, I guess since Tybalt killed Mercutio and Mercutio was Romeo's friend, it's only fair that Romeo killed Tybalt, but also they weren't supposed to be fighting, so if Romeo comes back, dead. I'm gonna execute him. So he's banished. Juliet, Tybalt is dead. <gasps> Romeo killed him. <gasps> and now Romeo has been banished. <gasps> I can't believe this. Romeo is a snake. Yeah, shame on him. Hey, don't talk about my husband that way. I'll go find Romeo to comfort you. Yes, go and find him. And give him this ring as a token of my love and have him come say goodbye to me forever. What's my punishment, did the prince say? Well, you won't die, but you've been banished. Oh my god, that's worse. Be grateful. It's torture. Julia lives here. I'll die without her. I don't wanna die, but no, I'm not okay. Stop. Listen. No. You're just gonna talk about banishment again. I don't want you to talk about banishment anymore. No. There was a knock. Hide. Where is Romeo? Being a big crybaby. Nurse. How's Juliet? Does she hate me? I mean, she's crying a lot. For Tybalt, for you. Oh God, that's it. I'm cutting out my own heart. Stop, I have a plan. Go off to Mantua. We'll tell everyone about your marriage. Then the prince is going to be so happy that all the fighting's going to end that he'll pardon you. Then we'll have peace. You're so smart, Friar Lawrence, great plan. But for now, Romeo, go see Juliet. Here, she wanted to give you this. I feel so much better now. So Romeo went to Juliet and they spent the night together as a married couple. The next morning, Juliet of course did not want Romeo to leave. You can't leave yet. It's still nighttime. It's definitely morning, Juliet. No, it's not daylight. Stay. Well stay if that's what you want me to do, my love. Let me be captured. Let me be executed. Never mind. It's not morning. No, you're right. It is morning. Juliet, your mother's coming. Be careful. You have to leave. Quick. Out the window. Goodbye. What's going on, Juliet? I'm sick. <clears throat> Don't be too sad about your cousin. It's been a whole day. Anyway, your father's arranged for you to marry Paris to help with your grief. When? You will be a happy bride this Thursday. I will not. I don't even know him. Plus, when I do marry, it'll be for love. Well, you just go ahead and tell your father that. See what he has to say. Here he comes. Did you tell her the good news, wife? I told her, but she said no. What? 
You're so ungrateful, selfish, spoiled. Don't you know that Paris is a catch? I worked really hard to set this up for you. You're worthless. How dare you? Stop it. You're hurting her feelings. Dad, just listen to me. You disgust me. You're getting too angry. Well, I am mad. I found her a husband and she refuses him. If you don't marry Paris, you aren't my daughter anymore. You can starve and die for all I care. Why won't he pity me? Can't he see that I don't want to marry Paris? Don't bother with me, Juliet. I'm done talking to you. <laughs> Nurse? What the heck is wrong with my parents? What can we do? I already have a husband. Give me comfort. Give me advice. Look, Juliet, Romeo's been banished. If he comes back, he'll be killed. Just marry Paris. I think you'll be happy. Is that how you really feel? Yes. <laughs> then okay, I feel better. But because I made my dad so angry, I need to go confess my sins in Friar Lawrence's cell today. So that's where I'm going. Go tell my parents for me, would ya? Oh, okay. I'll, I'll tell your parents. I hate her. How could she? She already knows I'm married to Romeo. Forget her. I'm never telling her anything ever again. Now I have to go to Friar Lords to come up with a plan on how to get out of this. And if I can't, then I will take my own life.